Five things we gotta know about an EM3. Number one, it features a major reduction in the net metering value of solar electricity. This is a whole topic of itself to really understand how this works, to understand the avoided cost calculator and how it's different from it. And there's like a glide period. I, this is a whole nother topic that I'll go into on another video, but essentially here's what you need to know. NEM3 is pretty much forcing you to where it doesn't make sense to go solar without a battery. That's pretty much the easy way I can simplify. Now, can you still go solar without a battery? Yes. Is it ideal? Most likely not. Most likely uh, a consumer could potentially get screwed over if they go solar without a battery, okay? But essentially they're changing the value, right? The import and export rates of power to where it only makes sense to go solar if you had a battery. Because if you don't get a battery, then you're gonna really get a much lower value, right? Right now we have retail rates with solar, meaning it's on average 30 to 35 cents, meaning that if you import or if you export a kilowatt, it's about 30, 35 cents. But then if you import it, it's also about 30, 35 cents, where it's gonna be the other way around. Now, if you import a kilowatt, it's like anywhere from literally one to about 10 cents. If you export it, it's about one to 10 cents. If you import it, it's gonna be like 30 cents plus, right? So it's, it loses 75 to 80% of its value, uh, but, the, but a battery will solve that. And, and I'll talk about that. All right, number two, there are no new charges of fees, commonly known as solar taxes, but customers will have to switch to an electrification rate plan, which will add about $15 to their bill. Right now we pay an interconnection fee. It's roughly $10, maybe $15 for the interconnection, right? Uh, initially they were proposing adding a $8 a kilowatt rate charge, extra charge. That's not in effect. All right. However, customers will have to switch to what they call an electrification rate plan. Uh, where right now with NEM2, people have to switch over to a TOU rate plan. Electrification rate plan is essentially the EV rate plan that they currently have. So if you're in San Diego Gas and Electric area, that means that if you go solar after April 15th, you have to switch to EV TOU5. If you're in SDE territory, you switch to TOU D prime. And then if you're PG&E, you switch to E electric. Pretty much this means that you're gonna have an extra monthly fee. So right now, I'm gonna use SDG&E as an example. If you have the EV TOU5 rate plan, you have to pay anywhere from about 12 to $15 a month just to be on that plan. So what that means is moving forward, uh, consumers that get solar are gonna have to have about roughly a 20 to $30, call it minimum bill, right? Meaning that they're still gonna have to pay the utilities around 20 to $30, right? That includes the 10 to $15 connection fee and then the 12 to $15 fee to be on that rate plan. Same thing with Edison and pg and &E, okay? So again, it just, there's about $30 that you're gonna to have to count for when you talk about savings and stuff. Number three, pairing solar with battery storage will be more beneficial under NEM3. It's really beneficial to get a battery under NEM2, right? Cause you get to store it on the lower rates and export it on the higher rate. So you get the higher credits. Pretty much under NEM3, you practically have to get a battery. And don't worry, I'll be talking about a battery and what that means. Number four, solar customers that submit their interconnection before April 14, 2023 can be grandfathered into NEM2 for 20 years. In other words, between now and uh, about, I would say mid-March, we as sales guys, as solar companies, we should be selling as much solar as possible because they just have to submit their interconnection before April 14th. They do not have to necessarily have to be installed or even PTO'd to get it. Let's remember that, you know, getting a complete interconnection application includes number one, signed contract, number two, single line diagram, number three, the CSLB disclosure form, which is usually on the front page of, an, of the agreement that you sign with the solar company. Number four, consumer protection guide. And number five, oversizing attestment if you have that as needed. So we do have until then to get our customers into NEM2. And the last one, number five, as far as things to know with NEM3, solar owners are grandfathered into NEM2 will be able to add battery storage later and remain on NEM2. Meaning if somebody gets solar right now with just a battery, but they want to add a battery after April 14th, they can do so and they will still be in NEM2. On the small print, you can add an extra system down the road, but if you add more than one kilowatt of power, that solar system will switch over to NEM3. So let's say you went solar in 2000 and 2020. Fast forward to 2024 or 2023. Let's say you need an add-on, right? Maybe you got an electric vehicle, more people moved in and you need, now you need an extra 5,000 kilowatts of power. If you get more than one kilowatt of a solar system, then that system 
income that you went solar in 2020 will transition to NEM3, which is not favorable. So pretty much right now, it's best to oversize a system to prepare for future needs, right? Whether somebody gets an electric vehicle or more people are gonna be moving in or maybe they're gonna have kids. So if you're talking to people, it's best to oversize it even more right now just to prepare for them because should they choose to do an add-on down the road, it's gonna make their first system switch to NEM3, which again is not favorable. If it's gonna be very good for realtors, for example, to understand this, to where if you're selling a home that has NEM2, you better know as a realtor the value that actually brings to the table because the truth is a home with NEM2 is more valuable than a home with NEM3. So if you're a realtor or you double dip and you do both, you better understand the difference. Those are the five things to understand about NEM3.